Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Nirmal here and in this video, we'll be sharing some tips, tricks and some hidden features of the Nothing Phone 1. So as you all know, Nothing Phone was announced uh, last month and it was uh, one of the really uh, different uh, smartphone in terms of UI, the experience, especially the Glyph LED light. So it offers uh, some interesting aspects. Now this also is powered by uh, a stock like UI, the Nothing OS uh, and uh, this is running on top of Android uh, 12. So in this video, we'll be sharing some tips and tricks and features of the Nothing OS. So in case you have the device, this is very useful and some of them are hidden tips and tricks. So so stay tuned so before getting into the tips and tricks if this is your first time on this channel do hit that red subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get notified of all the videos we publish so let's begin so first let's talk about the notification toggles so if you just swipe from the top you can see the notification toggle so this uh, has uh, uh, the android 12 style notification toggles but one thing what you can see here is uh, this large icon for the uh, the mobile data here we have the bluetooth so these two are uh, options which are not uh, removable but if you see the uh, the mobile data if you just swipe you can see here wi-fi and you can turn on the hotspot directly from here so this option has uh, uh, multiple toggles you can just swipe here and uh, toggle them now if you go here you can edit the toggle so there are a lot of toggles available so you can see here storage uh, bedtime mode uh, calculator nfc there is also an extra dim feature so we'll just show you that as well so uh, you can see here extra dim uh, dims the display so that's another useful feature which is available in the notification toggle in case you don't have you can edit it and bring it uh, to the toggles so there is dark mode night light so a lot of toggles are there you can customize it here we have an option to shut down the device as well that is also included and apart from that you can um, uh, open the settings so this is the, the, how the notification toggle look like now in the home screen here we have uh, different icons now you can increase the size of the particular icon say for example i want uh, this app to increase here so just press and hold you can see an enlarge option so select enlarge and you can see that the icon is uh, made bigger and enlarge so now it is easy to access this icon so just click here and click on minimize and this will be uh, minimized now if you have a group icon here here also you can just press and hold and enlarge you can see that the, the group icon is also enlarged and uh, smaller icons will be shown up here so this is very useful if you uh, want to uh, have certain icons uh, alone uh, enlarged and uh, uh, this uh, frequently used apps can be enlarged here next let's talk about the glyph interface so that's one of the most important aspects so we all know that this device has uh, led lights at the back so when you place it uh, or you can see here now uh, led glows this is the glyph interface so we'll uh, talk about uh, what you can uh, do in terms of uh, the glyph uh, customizations so here what you need to do is just go to the settings and uh, here we have the glyph interface so select the glyph interface and uh, we have turned on the glyph uh, uh, lights now there are different options you can increase or decrease the brightness of the glyph uh, so if you don't want uh, too much light uh, with the glyph light so you can just uh, reduce it then ringtones you can select uh, your default ringtones and uh, for that uh, it will uh, glow up uh, based on uh, the uh, ringtone you can also select uh, from your sounds that means if you have downloaded a particular ringtone you can go ahead and download it and uh, you can use that ringtone and uh, the glyph led will glow according to that you can select a particular contact and assign a particular ringtone for that that sort of option is also included the notification sounds you can select the same way as we did for the ringtones then charging meter so when you enable charging meter you can see the bottom led glows so if if you want to see the, the device is charging this led will glow based on the charging percentage so that is a charging meter then google assistant feedback is also there uh, whenever you are using google assistant you can see that the mic uh, like uh, interface uh, is there on this uh, as well then another useful feature is the flip to a uh, glyph so we have uh, shown this previously also what it does is it's like a mute uh, incoming calls so you can see here uh, just flipping the device now the flip to glyph is enabled and uh, all the notifications will be muted uh, you can see that now it's more or less in the silent mode so very easily you can just uh, flip the device and uh, it will disable all the notifications so that's a very useful functionality next you have this uh, music visualization option so whenever uh, we are playing uh, anything uh, whether, whether it's a video or an audio uh, the glyph led will glow based on that uh, this is uh, the music uh, visualization option so to enable that uh, by default it may not be there what you need to do is just uh, uh, go to the dialer and create a contact uh, we have just shown here uh, create a contact uh, with uh, the name 
abra so you can see here abra is the name uh, we have created so what you need to do is just uh, create a contact with the name abra and uh, select that contact and assign a ringtone and once you're done that just come back and you can see that music uh, visualization option will be enabled so you can also enable uh, the uh, schedule for the uh, glyph led that is also included here next if you go to the home screen we have some interesting widgets so you can see here customization option is here so if you go to customization you can see here wallpaper style like in uh, customize this uh, this is basically in uh, android 12 feature you also get it here as well so you can uh, customize the colors uh, based on the wallpaper or you can go with the basic colors so if you want uh, it will select uh, the colors from the wallpaper and apply to the icons and uh, uh, the settings panel so that option is there then you can select the upgrade so this is basic customization then you can select the icon pack so uh, for example if you have downloaded additional icon packs from the play store you can select it for example i just enabled so you can see here now uh, the icons have changed uh, so this way you can uh, change the icon packs as well now uh, coming back to the home screen uh, if you press and select the widgets there are some uh, interesting widgets from uh, uh, the nothing launcher so you can see here uh, there are some uh, interesting uh, digital uh, weather information so you can see here you can just drag and drop uh, to the home screen and uh, create this widget so these are widgets from the nothing launcher so there are four widgets available from the nothing launcher so if you want uh, that style of uh, uh, the icons uh, or other the widgets you can select that now if you go to the display uh, we have the always on display option so uh, just going to the display option so here we have the lock screen and uh, here we have the always show basic info on the lock screen so it's just enabled uh, we'll just show you this so now you can see here always on display is enabled so you can also select uh, uh, the wake uh, timing so always so you can select the sh uh, schedule uh, start time and end time for the um, always on display so this is also available so this is another feature included now uh, let's go to the camera so camera is one of the important things about this device now we have the glyph led for the cameras as well so if you want to use the camera during a low light or uh, if you want to use the glyph led what you need to do is just click this icon so it will enable the flash then uh, one more time you can see that now uh, the glyph led is uh, in action so there you go you can see a glyph uh, fill light so now you can use this light as a flash uh, for taking uh, this works even in portraits as well so if you want to take portraits also this works so that is very useful uh, this will give you additional light if you want to take portraits using the camera now if you want to record videos and then uh, low light if you go to the video recording here you can see that you can enable the night mode uh, for the video recording as well this will enable you to get a better uh, low light uh, video so you can just enable this as well now in the camera settings uh, you have a uh, expert mode feature so if you want the uh, uh, the uh, level you can enable that uh, as an expert mode feature then you have the live hdr option scene detection is also there then if you want uh, uh, press and hold the shutter button to record video if you want to go with a burst shot you can go with that as well so these are some options in the camera ui so another option is to open uh, any window in the pop-up mode so if you just go to the multitasking window just click on the icon and you can see here split screen and pop-up view so select here you can see here pop-up view on top of every screen now you can see this option so you can uh, increase or decrease the size and just uh, you can see this pop-up window working here so this is uh, the pop-up window and uh, you can see that the app works pretty well uh, on the top of every other window so this device also comes with the Google dialer. Now, if you want uh, uh, this option to have, uh, let's just go to the settings. And uh, here we have a, a call recording option, uh, but it will, it will uh, display the message actually, but uh, we have an option to uh, record uh, calls. You can uh, select, uh, there you go. Always uh, record uh, selected numbers. So you can enable a uh, call recording, automatic call recording is there. Uh, always uh, if you want all the calls to be recorded numbers in not in your contact list also so automatic call recording is there but it will uh, have this notification that recording is being uh, done so that uh, option you can't disable here but always uh, record uh, is available on this device now let's go to the battery settings so if you go to the battery settings uh, here we have the option of battery share now what battery share does is uh, this will share the battery wirelessly to charge another device so if you enable this uh, you can wirelessly charge another device using the battery on uh, this device so wireless uh, power share is available on this device so what you need to do is just uh, go ahead and place other device uh, above uh, on top of the back screen 
uh, and this will uh, charge the device and you can see this is a, a battery share option so if you want to uh, restrict the battery to 15 percentage uh, while sharing you can do that as well so that's another uh, useful feature now if you go to the display settings uh, apart from the regular options you can see that uh, there is an option to customize the colors so you can see here there is alive and standard colors you can also select the color temperature cool color temperature or warm color temperature based on how you want you can select that option there is uh, in the display now there is also a higher uh, refresh rate option so high and standard high is 120 hertz standard is 60 hertz so that's the option for refresh rates now if you want to take a screenshot on the device just uh, press and hold the volume down button and the power button so you can see here there is an option to capture more so just click here and you can see here it uh, captures a scrolling screenshot so there you go you can uh, capture a scrolling screenshot or the full uh, screenshot you can see is save so there you go now we have uh, saved the entire screenshot now another option is uh, when you are uh, uh, using the device uh, and the screen timeout is set to say 30 seconds you are not touching the screen and you're reading something the screen timeouts uh, dims the display but for that uh, there is a, a very useful functionality what you need to do is just um, go here display and uh, select uh, the screen timeout option so if you have selected a very short screen timeout option so screen attention mode is there so prevents your screen from turning off if you are looking at it so it uses the selfie camera and uh, detects if somebody is looking at the a device and uh, it will uh, it won't turn off the display when you are using this so once you have turned off this option uh, the display won't uh, turn off if you are reading something or looking at the display so that's another useful functionality then if you want to take a recording of your screen there is an option here you can just enable this so here we have the option to record audio uh, if you want to use a microphone a device audio and microphone both are there then uh, you can uh, show touch screens in case you are demoing something you can also enable the touch screen and start the recording so this is very useful functionality if you are doing some tutorials uh, uh, using the screen display there is an option to record the screen then another feature is uh, the lockdown mode so we'll show you how it works so just press the volume up key and the power button so you can see here uh, the option to restart uh, a power of an emergency so there is a lockdown mode so once you click this lockdown mode what it does is the phone will uh, get locked and uh, fingerprint sensor and the face unlock won't work on this device so basically it will work only with pin or pattern what you have said so if you have set pin it will work if you have set a pattern it will work but face unlock and fingerprint sensor won't work so you can see here now the fingerprint isn't working so swipe to open and it will ask the pin or uh, the password or the uh, the pattern but it, there won't be any face unlock or uh, uh, the fingerprint sensor which will unlock the device so once you unlock it then uh, it will be back to normal then another feature is uh, if you want to show the fingerprint scanner on uh, the lock i mean uh, the lock screen so we'll just show you that as well so uh, if you go to the uh, security option uh, select uh, the fingerprint now you can see that uh, show fingerprint icon here so if you don't want the fingerprint icon on the, the, uh, the lock screen, uh, you can just uh, disable it. So show fingerprint icon when you slightly move the phone. So this will pop up whenever you move the device or we are going to unlock it. But if you don't want to show it, uh, it will appear only when you press on the lock screen or rather the fingerprint icon, uh, it will unlock. So that's another useful functionality. Then if you go to system settings, uh, we have the gesture support. So you can see here uh, there is three button navigation or uh, right now we are using three button navigation. You can also go with the gestures. So if you want uh, the Android gestures to work, so you can go with that as well. Then quickly open the camera. So you can uh, quickly press, uh, uh, you can open the camera, press the power button twice and works from any screen. So once you turned it on, so I'll just uh, press the power button twice and you can see that the camera is enabled. So this is very quick uh, and easy to access option uh, whenever you want to open the camera, very easy to access. Then you also have the game mode available. So if you are a person who uh, loves to game a lot, so you can select uh, which all uh, devices, the game, I mean, which all apps you want the game mode. So currently two games are there. You can add apps here and the game board uh, will uh, will be basically do not disturb. Uh, it will uh, be showing minimal uh, notifications. If you want to block all the incoming calls while you're in gaming, you can enable that. Allow start contacts to call you if you do, if you want uh, your uh, 
parents or family members to uh, call you while even while gaming you can enable that as well so there is also missed touch prevention that's accidental touches can be prevented while uh, you are gaming so these are some of the tips and tricks you can try out on the nothing phone one so if you have the nothing phone one do try out these uh, tips and tricks this will get uh, the better out of your device and this is one of those uh, uis which uh, offers a lot of customizations so nothing always one customizations are pretty good so we are hoping uh, the company will improve on uh, the glyph leds uh, more and more apps will have support for glyph leds in coming days so let's uh, wait for that so this is normal signing off with the tips and tricks of uh, the nothing phone one hope you enjoyed watching this video do hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button for more videos thanks for watching hope to see you in our next video have a great day